Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Hi everyone. Oh my gosh, can you believe we are on day four of five? And this is feel, feel it already existing. Mm. This was the hardest F word for me, I think. I'm gonna say feeling for me, when I first discovered Law of Attraction um, two decades ago, I was just getting sober. I um, Feeling was not, mm -mm, nope, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> this girl didn't want to feel anything, so that's why I drank. Um, so I know some of you can probably relate um, to not wanting to feel, whether um, it's, you know, whatever vice you may use, it could be video games, right? It could be food. It could be, you know, pills. It could be whatever. It could just be our own self not wanting to feel because we put up so many walls. Okay. Um, that, you know, people have hurt us or, um, you know, we've just had so much trauma or whatever it is. Okay. But for me, uh, alcohol had a way of helping me not feel. So when I read and started, um, you know, just like, all right, I'm, I'm at the bottom. I have nowhere to go except up. Okay. And I wanted my life to be better. And that's what I want for you is with these five F words, I want you to create a life that you feel worthy and you love and you get what you want because you deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, so anyway, um, the feeling part was, it's, it's like you, you know, when you fall in love, right? Something exciting is happening and your whole body is just like, energized and like all this, you know, that energy, falling in love, just being on fire, right? That feeling, if you go to that feeling and you flick that like a light switch, okay? I like to think of it as a light switch. I'll be driving down the freeway in my car and I'm like, flick on that light switch and I'm like, yes. Yes, girl. And just get all like energized and like, yes. And, and feel it, feel good. Bring that vibration. Cause what you're doing is you're creating a vibration, you know, that's connecting you to universe source, whatever you may believe. And it's this vibration of energy. Okay. You know, the energy, when you feel down in the dumps, you know, that energy, you don't want that. So flick it on like a light switch, even if you're into a, like if you're having some, you know, difficulty or things coming up and, you know, just kind of like step away and be like, <sighs> flick it on like a light switch and just get that energy. See what kind of changes happen, you know, start testing. I tested law of attraction. I tested it to see like, if it really worked. So I would put out little tests. So I challenge you uh, to make your, just test law of attraction, test these five words. Um, you know, the other day I asked you to, you know, for 24 hours, challenge yourself. Every time something negative came up in your mind, cause we have 90 or I'm sorry, 80,000, six, it's like 60 to 80,000 negative thoughts or not negative thoughts per day, but 80% of those are negative. So every time you had a negative thought come up, I wanted you to be like, Ooh, oh, that was negative. How can I change that? So, I mean, how was that? I would love to know. Um, and then <sighs> with feeling, feeling is emotion. Okay. See all of these F words right here in the circle. I designed it in a circle because figure, you know, figure out what you want is the only number one thing you need to do first. So like if you're watching these videos or if you're telling your friend to watch these videos, make sure that they watch video one 
first. That is the most important part is figuring out what you want. Then all of these others, faith, focus, fearless, feel, they work together. They all work together in a circle. Okay. So like feel is our emotions. Focus are our thoughts. So if we take our thoughts and our emotions and we put action, we get results, which is our wants. Okay. And then add the blanket of faith. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Okay. So with feel, I'm going to make it um, pretty easy for you. For instance, I have a story. Um, gosh, 10 years ago, we moved into our house and my husband is allergic to cats and dogs. Okay. I, I was so bummed kind of, right. I was like, Oh, I was really bummed. We had lost my cat that I had for 17 years. He, you know, passed away from old age when Eli was like nine months old. Um, which for my husband's sake, I mean, he was so allergic. It was crazy. He tried everything. Um, you know, the shots, all that. Right. And we've tried hyperallergenic dogs, like going to my brother's house. He had one and it wasn't good. Um, so I was like, I can't imagine being a reptile mom, right? I have a boy. I can't imagine being a reptile mom. So I started to I'm gonna drink some water. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I started to feel the energy of an animal in the house. I was like, and, and trust me, I was putting all of this to the test. Okay. I was putting all of law of attraction to the test because I could not, my husband's kind of a little bit stubborn and you know, he, uh, I don't, I would never have believed that we would have animal animals. Okay. So I'll get to the story. So I started feeling how, you know, walking in the door and you know how dogs and animals, they run out, they're ah, so happy to see you. And you're just like, mm, I love my animals. And, um, so I started feeling that I would feel that in the house and I'd be like imagining something running around. And I did that for not even that long. I don't even know how long it was. It was months. Not even like long months. It was months. And then next thing you know, my husband's like, hey, I was at work today and they had pigs on set, baby pigs. And I was like, I had been doing some research on pigs and they have uh, dander. They have no dander and they have hair, not fur. And by the way, they're a lot of work. They are very emotional. So we get along great. Um, <laughs> but long story short, we ended up getting Lucy. Lucy is now 10. We adopted um, a pig named, we named Ricky, Lucy and Ricky. Um, he unfortunately passed away when he was seven. Um, and then we recently, um, gosh, recently, it'll be two years this summer, um, that we got Bella. So pigs have been our family pet for over 10 years. And we, I could not have ever imagined that if I didn't start feeling that feeling. And I think with the feeling of putting that energy out, it just, it, it was just vibration. And it's, and, and those things, when you figure out you want a pet, I was focused on it, doing some research. My husband, and then we, my husband had the fearless action, right? And then you know, all the feeling and then just faith, it was going to happen. And it did. So that's just kind of an example that I wanted to give you um, of bringing that feeling. When I wanted to be a Hollywood hairstylist, I would flick on the switch feeling. I already had it. That's the biggest thing. Feel as if you already have that. And sometimes that can feel crazy. Like, no way. I can't imagine. But like if you're looking for love or, you know, you just want more love in your life. I want you to feel that love, that excitement, 
right? And how we get kind of butterfly -y and that energy and happy and exciting. Just flick it on. Flick it on for a minute. Try it just for a minute if you can't imagine feeling that, okay? So I want you to act as if, and I want you to feel it already existing, okay? So when you speak about these things that you want, like if you want to be in love, don't say, well, you know, if I'm old without a partner, uh, no, 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 no. When I'm older and my partner and I get to live and travel and blah, 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 right? So change the wording of how you're saying things. And I know you think it doesn't matter. It does. Because time after time after time of you putting out there of being alone, don't be surprised when you're alone. Okay, so start feeling what it is that you want in your life. Okay, if you want to feel paying bills easily and not have a budget and not worry about money, start feeling you have plenty. Start feeling when you open a bill. Don't, when you open a bill, I want you to be like, Oh, no problem. Even though in your head yesterday, you might have been like, oh my God, how am I going to pay this? No, no, no. <laughs> you're going to open your bill or open your email where the bill is and you're going to be like, wow, okay, cool. I'm going to pay that. No problem. Okay. And you're going to train your brain to think that. Money flows easily. So that brings me to affirmations, okay? The I am's. This is where you start creating your I am. I am a Hollywood hairstylist was, oh gosh, that affirmation was daily for years, for years. Um, I just kept saying it. Um, because even though I got some big breaks, I still wasn't union where I wanted to be. And the Hollywood hairstylist part, part was me being union. That's what it meant to me. Um, so your I am. I am cancer free. That is a biggie. I am cancer free. I am healthy. So these are things like when I was, uh, when I was told I had a large mass, which by the way was cantaloupe size in my abdomen on my ovary. I was like, I am cancer free. I am benign. I am benign. And I went for that two weeks before my surgery. I am benign. I am benign. And I woke up from surgery and I, it was cancer. But I believe that by me during that whole two weeks to three, four weeks that like it was like a whole thing of like what's going on, right? I believe that when I went to, I didn't knock on death's door, I tried for a minute and my husband said, you better live what you preach right here, right now. And I was like, yeah, yeah, this is the time. So. I was like, not knocking on that door. No, no, no. I am cancer free. So I am benign. And I do believe that that belief held everything into stage one still. I feel like if I had gone opposite of knowing that like I had, cause my friend just passed away from cancer in January, a really close friend. And so this was real close. And I was like, okay, I think if I would have put the opposite energy, things could have been different in my body because we're powerful. I showed you the necklace moving with just your thoughts in focus. Okay. So if bad things you think 
are starting to happen for you or you're going through some stuff, right? You need to like get this brain to think good thoughts and to feel good thoughts. They go hand in hand, okay? So it's so important. And a mantra your, or your affirmation will help you with that, okay? Your I am's. Write down 10 I am's. Go ahead, you know, pull out your notebook and just write down 10 I am's that you want to have existing. And I want you to start feeling that. I am powerful. I am strong. I am wealthy. I am happy. Like whatever your I am is. I am love. Oh, I, whoops, I am love. I am love. <sighs> Speaking of love, another thing that really helped me to anchor and get centered with my being because it's all about you and your being. I would put my hand on my heart and I would, this is part of meditation too, which I'm going to go into more meditation tomorrow, but meditation and visualizing, okay? Faith and feel, that goes hand in hand. And so feeling and visualizing the life that you want. So I would put my hand on my heart and I would anchor and center and breathe. And sometimes if, if stuff's going like crazy and there's like some drama going on, step away, take some breaths, get centered, and then not react. So by doing this and getting into you know, especially with our kids, right? It's like, you're like, oh, and you, you can flip the lid, right? And just like, ah, crazy. My head's exploding and steam's coming out, okay? It does happen. <laughs> but like, if I just kind of be like, need a minute, step into the bathroom, wherever, and take a breath, and so that I don't react, okay? Because reacting for me does not work well. And I'm able to then, you know, be able to handle things better. So if you wanna like just take some breaths into your heart and then get, and just ask to write, just write your I am's, get centered, always come back to your heart, okay? Cause we are love, we share our love and light. That's what we're here to do, that's our purpose. That's really everyone's purpose is to share love and light information. So everything that you learn through this practice of the five F's, you get to pass on. You get to pass on to your kids, your friends, your husbands. You don't have to preach it, but you can share it. My son has been, he doesn't even know half the time that he's actually using the five F's, but we do it all the time. You know, music is a great way to feel, you know. I have some happy, music like we'll go and we'll get in the car my son definitely has his music that he likes before a game and even though i'm not a big fan of some of his music i let him pump it you know we pump it to the field because he's getting a zone right and so that zone that he gets in helps him play better you know and he like visualizes things on the way there and he you know gets into the pump mode. I mean, a lot, so many athletes do that. So many people before they step on stage do that. Musicians, speakers, um, people, uh, drama, you know, it's like use that energy that you can bring up to be of good. Um, and I want you to feel your purpose often. Okay. This is something, this gave me something to do all day long okay <laughs> it's like if you're bored uh get into the feel get into visualizing and feeling life already like yes girl right so let's do this um ah, wow i think that's it 
Um, med let me touch meditation a little bit because meditation can be done in many ways, many ways. I don't always sit like with my pillows and candles and all, you know, I, I even have, I love this sound bowl. The vibration just oh, brings brings me joy. Um, I got that online on Amazon. But um, with meditation, sometimes I'm just in my car, obviously not shutting my eyes, but I'm like <sighs> connecting. I like to, when I first started meditating, this was a good example, I think, that really helped me. I would sit and I would breathe and I would visualize this laser beam coming out of the top of my head and shooting straight up to the universe, like straight up. And I would feel this energy of this laser beam from the root of my core shooting through the top of my head up to the universe. And I would just feel that energy and I would be like, whatever it is I need, bring it. And I swear to God, I feel like these little jolts hit my laser beam up there. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And I say, thank you. And then I'll just like do that for a few minutes. And I swear you will feel, if you feel that energy coming from your core through the top of your head, that laser beam, and you're like focusing on it and you're like, whatever it is I need, bring it. So that's like just a little kind of like it because you don't have to shut your mind off for that because I know it's hard. Um, also, I have a timer on my um, phone that has and they have all kinds of free timers, you know, meditation timers that have different sounds and rivers and oceans and things like that and rain. So I set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. You know, just set it for five minutes and try that. And then if you can reach up, I've gotten up to like 25 minutes. That's hard. That's hard for me. But um, five minutes to connect me with energy, okay? The energy to create the life I want. So how far, how willing, I mean, it's just like this is a part of my life right? Two decades. You can do this too. You can, this is like second nature to me. Like I just automatically go to a positive, catch myself when I'm going negative or into like the gossip, the drama, catch myself, right? I get into the feel zone all day long. Not all day, but like throughout the day, I should say, because I love to feel good. I promise you. You will do this and you will be amazing. And I'm here for you. I would love to hear comments um, of how you're doing. If you're having difficulty, um, you know, where could you use some more information? Um, also, there's always the book on Amazon. Um, very short, 97 pages. It's like an hour and a half read. Okay, and at the back, here's the back of feel it. Okay, I put the enhancers and blockers at the end of each chapter. So like feel it enhancers, visualizing and feeling it in the present moment. What's the blocker to that? Drugs and alcohol. That was for me. Um, creating an I am affirmation. What's the blocker to that? not believing it can happen to you. And then an enhancer, act as if it actually happened mindset. And then the blocker to that is control, trying to control the how, when, and where it will happen. Oh God, thank God I read this. Seriously, once you decide what you want, and you're focusing, thinking positive thoughts about it, you're doing some action toward it, and you're feeling on fire, let go. Don't control how you think it should happen. Nothing.
nothing in my life has worked out the way I thought it was going to, ever, ever. Think about that. I thought I was going to meet somebody who was going to break me into the Hollywood business in um, uh, the barbershop I was working at on Sunset, okay? That's where I thought I was going to have my big break. I had it all planned out. That person was going to sit in my chair, and I was going to be like, oh, of course I have, you know, yes, of course I'll come do your film. No, I met this woman in a Korean day spa in the Oxygen Jade Room, and she, I don't know, we had a, she's like, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I do hair and makeup. She's like, oh, I hire hair and makeup for Getty Images. What? Yeah, my first break was with the world's biggest stock imaging company, okay? They flew me to the Virgin Islands. Yeah, yeah. But on that first job, I met three women that changed my life. Okay, they are the ones that changed my life and my career. So let go, it will happen much bigger and much better than you ever imagined. All right, that's enough time. Mwah, I love you, I'm here for you. Have a great day.